Here is how to show top gifters in your TikTok live stream. It's pretty simple and you can do this as a computer streamer and as a phone streamer. The only requirement is that you have a Windows PC or laptop. Before we get to live studio, let me show you how phone streamers can put the top gifters in the background of their stream. And I know this is pretty small, but you might just about be able to make out that this phone streamer has got a screen behind them and on that screen, they've got their top gifters. For this, we just need two free downloads, which are in the description. We need OBS Studio, and we also need the Tickfinity desktop app. Starting with the Tickfinity app, head to the setup page and firstly, just add your username. Then scroll down the setup page and just make sure you are logged into TikTok, which is this button here. Then all we need to do is add one thing from Tickfinity to OBS, and then we'll just keep Tickfinity open in the background while we're streaming. So what is that one thing? If I click onto the overlay gallery, I have to scroll down a fair amount, but we're looking for top gifters here. You can customize the look of this by hitting the customize button. All I've done is increase the font size and you just hit copy URL. Then you just head into OBS. You might want to make a new scene in the bottom left corner. And then underneath sources, I'll hit the plus button and I'll click on browser. Name it something like Tickfinity Top Gifters, press OK, and then just replace this URL with the Tickfinity one. You're now going to be asked to choose some dimensions. If you want it to fill the screen from top to bottom, then the height that you want is 1080. For the width, usually around 400 to 600 should be OK. I'll scroll down, I'll shut down source when not visible, and I'll press OK. And within a few seconds, you can see my top gifters are now on the screen. You might notice if you're paying attention, I've got this little scroll bar at the bottom. That means my width isn't wide enough. So I'm going to double click onto the source and I'll increase the width to 500. And as you can see, it's now disappeared. Now, if you want to change the size of this, you can either customize it in Tickfinity or if we go back into OBS, you can just click on it and drag these red squares. And as you can see, it's easy to increase or decrease the size. One final thing here, if you hold the Alt button and drag up the square from the bottom, you can crop it. So for example, now here's just my top five gifters. And as a last quick aside, you might want a background. So if you want a background under these sources, hit the plus button. If you want a video background, it's a media source. Or if you want an image, it's image or image slideshow. And if you're a phone streamer, the next thing you have to do is get yourself a second screen. Again, we see that in example here. Look at this guy's setup. He's got his phone on a tripod and then it's him on a chair. And then behind that is his TV or computer screen. That screen will be plugged into his laptop or computer. Then all he's done is he's used OBS's full screen projector. So how do you get that? Just right click full screen projector, choose the screen that you want to send it to. Let's send it to the Zowie. You're now seeing the top gifters on a screen inside my camera shot. You can just hit escape on your keyboard to get back out of that. So that's for phone streamers, but how do you do it as a computer streamer? So let's look at Live Studio for that. All you need for this is the Tickfinity desktop app, which is linked in the description, as well as Live Studio. And if you don't have Live Studio set up, I'll put my setup guide there as well. So if you weren't following the video earlier, just go on the setup page of the Tickfinity app. Again, not the website. Type your username into the username box and then scroll down and just make sure you are logged into TikTok. Then all we're going to do is head into the overlay gallery. We're going to scroll down until we found the top gifters option. If you want to personalize it, hit the customize button and choose different options. When you're ready, hit the copy URL button. Now I've just set up a basic live studio vertical scene. Let's pretend in our example, we want to put it in the bottom right corner. On the left, I'm going to click add source. I'm going to click on link and I'm just going to press control V to paste it in. I do want a custom resolution. For the width, I'm going to choose 500 and I'm going to leave 600 as the height just to see what it looks like. Often it adds it as the wrong dimensions anyway, so we we'll probably have to resize it. Let's hit add source and see what happens. Before I do anything else, I'm going to double click link on the left and I'm going to rename it to Tickfinity Top Gifters because it doesn't give you the option to rename it when you first add it. Now I'm going to click on Tickfinity Top Gifters on the left. I'm going to move it where I want. And like I said, it's not really added it big enough. So I'm just going to increase the size of it. It's also showing a little bit of gifter number eight. So I'm just going to hold the Alt button to crop it and just drag up so gifter number eight is no longer there. So now if I click the preview button in the top right, you can see there's me, the game, chat in the bottom left, and the top gifters in the bottom right. Just briefly at the start, you saw my example in the landscape mode. If you want it top to bottom, then the dimension for that is 1080. If you'd like weekly tips to monetize and grow your stream, 
then check out my free weekly newsletter called Live Success. It now has over 1,000 readers. That is in the description. And once again, completely free to subscribe. Now we just use Tickfinity for this guide. If you want a quick start guide, then watch this video here to add alerts for subs, follows, and gifts.